Common Hymns for Preach Sing. And my name is Karan Sika. We hope you enjoy our project on PEM Hydrogen Fuel Cell. As the world's population continues to grow, more and more people will use cars to get around, to commute, to work, uh, just to perform everyday tasks. As this happens, more CO2 will be released into the atmosphere, potentially causing climate change. This technology right here, the hydrogen PEM fuel cell, can potentially reduce CO2 in the atmosphere because it, its only emission is water. This clean energy technology was studied by me and my research partner at Stony Brook University to make it more financially practical for the public. Within the fuel cell, the reduction of oxygen takes place. It's currently catalyzed by a very expensive platinum catalyst. This is the slowest reaction, and if improved, we can increase the power output of the fuel cell, hopefully at a nominal cost. We made novel nanoparticles of gold and palladium and analyzed their effect on fuel cell performance. Our nanoparticles were made using a simple procedure and deposited onto the proton exchange membrane using the Langmuir Blodgett trough. We found that when we mixed gold and palladium nanoparticles in a one-to-one -one mixture, we saw a power output increase of approximately 46%. However, we also needed to test the fuel cell under the conditions that cars run at. We found that at higher temperatures, the gold nanoparticles alone boosted the fuel cell by approximately 48%. However, the cost of the fuel cell only increased by 3 cents when we added these tiny nanoparticles. We succeeded in our goal, yet there is still more work to be done to replace the expensive gold element used in our nanoparticles. This is a big step forward in fuel cell research, and we hope to replace internal combustion engines with a hydrogen fuel cell in the near future.